I miss ignorance as a child. I feel like I just kind of used to live in a in an ignorant ball of bliss, and then that bubble kind of popped. Well, I have started to apply for colleges last week, which is, you know, two or three weeks before the deadline. I'm not really sure what my future is, but, like, I focused on um, taking a lot of AP classes, a lot of pre-AP classes to prepare for the future and college. Um, the steps I've taken for college, I've taken the SAT, like, four times. I've taken volleyball shots and done um, videos and piece that all together and email college coaches. I have a writing tutor now and I meet with her like a week, every week. We write like SAT essays and now we're starting to write the Common App essays. I am looking towards the military, but I am also thinking about going to a trade school, TCTC. It's pretty stressful because I don't know where I'm going or specifically like what I'm doing. I didn't think it was very stressful, but then, like, lately I was talking to my mom and we, like, Googled it and I'm having these, like, stress headaches. I'm, like, freaking out. I think I'm prepared to be on my own. Uh, I can't say that with 100% confidence. Yes, I am prepared to be on my own. I'm looking forward to it, actually. Like, because my mom doesn't speak English very well, I had to, um, like, fill out some health care paperwork to, like, do that for myself. And so I, I think I already have a good grasp on how to be independent. No, I'm not prepared to be on my own. I'm just not. I feel like nobody ever really is ready. I've been really prepared to be on my own for a while now. I'm not saying it's going to be easy, but I have been through jobs where I've had to be responsible by myself. I've taken care of other people. Yes, I'm ready for independence. I'm optimistic about it, definitely. Um, I want to become a middle school math teacher. And I want, ideally, to come back to Marble Falls and teach. But I want to be an artist who tells a story about, about my life. I like a lot doing a lot of art things, like playing the violin and um, drawing and things like that and singing. But like, those, have nev those hobbies have never factored into what I want to, what I want to aspire to be. During theater, it was just, I always, I just loved it. It was like euphoria all the time. And I didn't even care about my homework. I don't know how it got done. I got all A's in my junior year. But, I, I mean, I don't know how I did that. I was so happy, so focused on theater. I loved it so much. And I really should have known then that's when I wanted to be an actor. I've definitely felt pressured as a valedictorian. It's kind of become a part of who I am. I still feel like scared that I could lose that rank. There's a, there's a sense that wants to, wants to still be a kid and wants to stay young and, and, and wants to kind of have fun. And, but I realize that I've had to kind of put those things in segments. Kind of, this is when I have fun. This is when I need to be responsible with things. I was, when I was little, I did a lot of plays and it kind of died out when my mom was like really stressing school and I didn't have time for all that. Yes, I have felt insecure about my future because, especially because since I am very, I'm smart and like um, a lot of people, a lot of my friends have acknowledged that and so they all want me to do things that I don't really want to do, like be an engineer or like a rocket scientist and they all have these, these perceptions of what they want my life to be, but that's not what I want. I liked playing in the mud and like catching butterflies outside, but now uh, I just, I don't have time for that anymore, honestly. I just worry about college and school and like practicing violin and things like that. I mean, I, I was abused and uh, that was a uh, setback in uh, my childhood because uh, I didn't really get to experience uh, my childhood and uh, grow. I miss the, the, the kind of carefree sense that I used to have. I mean, we all used to have it. 
I was always a barefoot kid. I never wore shoes, and now it's, like, not acceptable. It was, like, a big adventure for me. It was, like, I always ran outside, and I had a huge imagination, and forts were castles. Um, when I was younger, I was definitely a lot more optimistic about life, and through growing up, I realized how hard life is. It was a lot simpler. Times were a lot happier, and it was a lot less stressful. I would say that I changed to be more realistic rather than pessimistic. I think it's more of a positive change, even though I'm more stressed out. Like, I'm doing things that um, actually matter to me. I think it's a positive change to see how the world's different on your own and experiencing it.